Hey, what's up, Spencer? My name is everybody, and welcome to the Summerween reading vlog. Summerween is a week-long readathon created by Gabby Reads, and it has five prompts that I need to fulfill in order to succeed at this readathon. I'm pretty sure that we can do the thing where multiple books, or one book can count for multiple prompts, and I'm really banking on that because today is actually day four of Summerween already. The reason why I didn't do the first three days is because Denver Fan Expo was over the past weekend, so I just spent the past three days at a convention instead of reading. I had such a great time. It was really fun. I haven't been to a con since 2016, so it was really nice to go back, and I had so much fun going to the Supernatural panel because I got to see Jared Padalecki and Mark Shepard. I didn't get to ask anybody any questions. It was just really nice to be in the same room room as these actors who have been, I've been watching on TV since I was in the sixth grade. Like 2006 is when I started watching Supernatural and I'm still watching it. I'm in the process of re-watching it now. So it was just so nice and just a little bit mind-boggling the fact that I was in the same room as these people that I've been watching on TV for like, what, 15 years now? 20 years now? Jeez, I can't believe it. 20 years since the start of Supernatural. Holy moly. I also got to see Billy West, who is the voice of Fry from Futurama, and I did get to talk to him and ask him some questions, and that was great. He was really nice. He's super funny. Bad at answering questions, though. He kind of goes everywhere, so he doesn't really stick to what you asked him. He kind of just goes off, but it was still such a great experience. Anyway, what are the five reading prompts that we are trying to fulfill today? It is going to be, number one, read a book in the dark or at night. Number two, read a thriller or a horror. Number three is read a book with the sky on the cover. Number four is read a book with five or more words in the title. And number five is to read a book that takes place in the summer or gives you summertime vibes. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that you can pick one book and have it fulfill multiple prompts, which I'm hoping for. So I'm doing two books for my TBR. If I fulfill them, if I read through them quickly and I still have time, then I will try and add more books onto it. But for right now, I am focusing on two books. The first one is the Girls We Sent Away by Megan Church. This fulfills four out of the five prompts. It has a sky on the cover, it has five or more words in the title, and it takes place during the summer, or it really gives me summer vibes. I mean, how can you look at this cover and not get summer vibes? And then if I read it at nighttime, that'll also be a fourth prompt. Or if I just like lock myself in my bathroom and get my flashlight out, then this will be four prompts in just this book. I don't think that it is a thriller slash horror, though. I think this is more of a historical fiction type book, which is why the other book that I'm going to be getting, which is going to fulfill the thriller horror prompt, is going to be The Eyes Are the Best Part. I have that on hold at the library right now, so I need to go and pick that up. But between those two, I should be able to fulfill Summerween. So let's get into it and let's do that. into The Eyes Are the Best Part, 
and this is such a good book so far. It is about our main character, Juwan, who is dealing with the separation of her parents. Her father has just left her mother. She is 18 years old. Her younger sister is about 15, I think. They haven't exactly said, but she's in the age where she's starting to get interested in boys and stuff like that. So I'm guessing 14, 15. And as Jiwon is going through what is happening with her parents' separation, her mother is very devastated. A couple months later, about three months later, she starts dating a really shitty white man, stuff like that. As Jiwon is going through that, she is also having these dreams about eyes, and she has to eat the eyes. And it is very gross, but also works so well, and I am just loving everything that is happening in here. The chapters are really short, so it's really easy to get through, and I am just having such a fun time so far. There are only like 275 pages in this book, so I'm hoping I'll be able to finish it today or first thing tomorrow morning. Hello, good morning. I had quite an exciting night last night, so I have a wreath made out of plastic flowers that is hanging on my front door, and it fell down, so I brought it inside until I could put up another, like, command hook for it, and it turns out there were baby spiders living in my wreath. So now there are baby spiders all crawling around my house. I guess that's on par for summer ween, but, like, I don't want a bunch of spiders in my house. I hate that. That's... <clears throat> Especially, don't crawl on me when I'm sleeping, holy shit, oh my god. Also, while I was making dinner last night, I burned the shit out of my hand because I accidentally left a spoon too close to the stove, didn't realize that it had melted, and then got like melted plastic all over my hand. I'm pretty okay, I still got burned, but I was able to really recover it. A lot of people don't know this. When you burn yourself, do not put cold water on it. You need to put tepid, like, room temperature water on it, or else you will, like, damage the skin, you will damage the cells, and you will make things worse. You gotta have regular room temperature water for quite a while and then you can put ice on it. I did finish The Eyes Are the Best Part this morning by Monica Kim, and I am definitely giving this book five stars. This was such an incredible read. I was obsessed with everything that was going on. I absolutely love this. Oh my goodness. I love books where things are falling apart and things are unraveling in front of the main character and they are like desperately trying to keep everything together but no matter what they do everything still keeps on like getting farther and farther away from them and they're slowly losing control and everything in their life is just and then we don't know what's real, what's not real. It's just, oh, I highly recommend this book. This is definitely going on my list of best books of the year. So with the completion of this, we have completed the two prompts of read a thriller slash horror and also read a book that has five or more words in the title. I also started The Girls We Sent Away, but I'm only about 40 pages into it, so still really on early in this story. This is a book that's about a girl named Lorraine who lives in the 1960s and she really wants to become an astronaut. John F. Kennedy is starting the NASA, he started NASA, he's starting exploration to the moon, and she really, really, really wants to be a part of it, but she ends up getting pregnant and sent away. And as everybody knows, as soon as you push a baby out of your coochie, any dreams that you had, not allowed to do it anymore. It's illegal. Sorry, that's just how science works. If you have a baby, you're not allowed to pursue any dreams. I'm just kidding. I hope that this ends up being a book where everybody in her life is telling her that she has to choose between her dreams and a baby, and she ends up being like, no, I'm gonna do both. Uh, screw all of these regular expectations. I want to do both. I'm hoping that's where this is gonna go, as opposed to being one of those things of being like, wow, look at how sad it is that we could have had all of these brilliant women, but we let the patriarchy hold them back. I understand, like, where that narrative comes from. It is the truth, 
for hundreds of thousands, if not millions of women throughout history. A lot of women have given up their dreams and what they wanted out of life in order to take care of their children and their families and stuff. But there's also a lot of women who managed to do both, who managed to do all, who decided not to take the opinion that women can only do one or the other and really, you know, stood up for themselves and did all that. I really hope that that's where Lorraine is going to go, is that she's not going to give up on her dreams and that she's going to become an astronaut either way. Who knows? Obviously we're going to see where it goes for that. I'm also thinking for the prompt for reading a book in the dark because both of these I've been reading during the daylight. I think I'm going to take Inside Out and Back Again, I think is what it's called. It is a short poetry based book. I think that's going to be something that'll be really quick and easy for me to sit in my dark ass hallway and read that and get that prompt out of the way for that. So yeah, I'll check in with you guys the next time I have an update. Inside Out and Back Again in the Dark, and I am going to be giving this book five stars. This is about our main character, Ha. It follows her over the course of an entire year as she is living in Vietnam, and then Vietnam falls, and she must escape to America, and what it is like moving to this new country where she doesn't know any of the language, any of the culture, any of the food, stuff like that. And part of the reasons why this is a five star is because it was heavily based on the author's actual lived experiences. She also grew up in Vietnam and had to escape and go to a new school and be teased mercilessly because she didn't know or understand a lot of what was going on. I thought this book was very touching, very moving. I highly recommend it to just about everyone. And yeah, that's kind of it. It was a very good book. It was very easy to get through because it was poetry, but also even though it was written more in a poetry format, it was so touching and you really feel what it is like to struggle with these things, like learning how to spell in English, because English is just an amalgamation of like 10 other languages all shoved together. How difficult it is to understand why deer is still deer if it's multiple, but giraffe is not giraffe if it's multiple, you know, there are giraffes Sometimes you put an S on the end of it, sometimes you don't. It's very confusing. So with the completion of this book, I have read a book in the dark, and now we have a book with the sky on the cover, which means that I have completed four out of five prompts. The only thing that I really need to do to finish up is finish reading The Girls We Sent Away. I am halfway through it now, and it's pretty straightforward for what I told you so far. She gets pregnant, the dad tells her that he doesn't want anything to do with the baby, and she gets sent away to a home where she's supposed to finish up her pregnancy and then give up the baby and then return to her life and go back to normal and all of that stuff. It is now the end of Summerween. I have finished The Girls We Sent Away, and I'm giving this book two stars. Once I hit the halfway point of this book, I kind of struggled to get through it because it was very boring no plot was happening, no characterization was happening. Although I did like Megan Church's writing, it really does feel like she thinks that her readers are stupid with the way that she hits you over the head with things and the way that she very blatantly tells you what is going on. Megan Church really struggles with showing instead of telling. She will tell you everything to the point where she will change point of views of a character midway 
through a chapter and there won't even be like a break or anything like that it'll go one paragraph is in Lorraine's point of view and the next paragraph is in Miss Mahoney's point of view just so that we can know exactly what Miss Mahoney is thinking because Megan Church is unable to write her characters in a way that makes it so that we are able to infer that maybe they're lying or maybe they're keeping a secret or maybe there's a little bit more going on here than what we originally thought. I thought that because this was called The Girls We Sent Away that that meant that we were going to get to know some of the other girls in the house and be able to kind of interact with all of the different ways that the patriarchy has really let these girls down but instead we get to know nothing about these girls and then they will do things that make absolutely no sense uh, Megan Church does not set up anything for what they're doing and because everything is supposed to be super secret and private we n just never find out about it I really wish that there had been some sort of character development in this book but who Lorraine is at the beginning of the book is exactly who she is at the end of the book which is pretty boring I really wish that she had started out with wanting to give the baby away because she was so like gung-ho about becoming an astronaut she didn't want to let anything stand in her way but then she she slowly grows to love the baby and decides that there's no reason for her to have to choose. She should be able to be both a mother and a career person. Or even the other way around where maybe originally she wants to keep the baby but then comes to realize that seeing as she is 17 years old has no support from her partner. Her parents don't support her. She doesn't have a job. She still wants to go to college. Maybe she comes to the conclusion that she isn't right to take care of the baby. Either way, it would have been nice if some something happened, we had some sort of change or growth or character development, or if Lorraine was just more than super passive because she's very passive throughout this book and several characters have to tell her what to do. I don't know, it was just very disappointing because the first half of the book I did really like because the writing is very nice, however, it's not really actually that good once you start to get into it and get to the part of being at the girl's home uh, or the maternity home or whatever you want to call it. All right, so that is it for Summerween. If you have made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for sticking around and hanging out with me. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more like it. But besides that, make sure that you stay safe and have a fantastic day. Bye.